let's get right into it. Number 9. You've never actually touched anything. You know that chair you're sitting on right now. You're not actually touching it. In fact, you've never actually touched anything in your entire life. Everything is made up of atoms, and atoms have these things called electrons that hate each other. When you try to touch something, the electrons in your hand have a shoving match with the electrons in the object. It's like trying to push two magnets together on their same poles. There's this invisible force field that just won't let them connect. So what you feel as touch is actually billions of tiny force fields pushing against each other. Your hand isn't resting on that table. It's floating a microscopic distance above it, held up by electromagnetic forces. You're basically hovering all the time. Even when you kiss someone, your lips never actually touch. You're just smooshing your force fields together. So technically, you're still waiting for your first real kiss. Number 8. Your brain is lying to you. Right now, as you're watching this video, there are huge holes in your vision. Not metaphorical holes. Actual, physical blind spots where you can't see anything. But you've never noticed them because your brain is literally making stuff up to fill those gaps. Grab a piece of paper right now. Draw a dot on the left side. Now draw a plus sign about six inches to the right of it. Hold the paper at arm's length. Close your right eye and stare at the plus sign. Now slowly move the paper closer to your face. At some point, that dot on the left will completely vanish. That's because you just found your blind spot, a place in your vision where your optic nerve connects to your eye. There are literally no light-detecting cells there, but your brain doesn't want you to know about these holes. So it's constantly photoshopping reality in real time. It's guessing what should be in that blind spot based on what's around it. Parts of what you're seeing right now aren't real. They're completely fabricated by your brain. And here's something wild. Octopuses don't have this problem. Their eyes evolved differently, so they actually see reality more accurately than we do. Number 7. Color is a figment of your imagination. That beautiful sunset you watched yesterday doesn't exist. The color of your partner's eyes that you fell in love with is also not real. Colors don't actually exist in the physical world. What we think of as red or blue is just our brain making stuff up. It's our brain's interpretation of different wavelengths of light. These wavelengths are just energy with no actual color in them. It's your brain that takes these boring wavelengths and paints them into the vivid world you see. Remember that viral dress that broke the internet? Some people saw it as blue and black, others as white and gold. Both groups were looking at the exact same wavelengths of light. Their brains just decided to interpret those wavelengths differently. This means what you see as blue might look completely different to someone else. We'd never know because we're all trapped in our own mental color shows. The real universe is actually colorless, just pure energy and matter dancing around in mathematical patterns. Your brain is basically running a non-stop Instagram filter, turning this bland reality into the colorful world you experience. Number 6. The Silent Universe Sound is a brain-made hallucination. The universe is completely silent. Every sound you've ever heard in your life is actually a hallucination created by your brain. Outside your head, there are no songs, no voices, no melodies, just waves of compressed air bouncing around in total silence. When a tree falls in the forest, it doesn't make a sound. It just creates invisible ripples in the air. These ripples hit your eardrums, and that's when your brain gets to work. It takes these boring pressure waves and turns them into crashes, thuds, and cracks. It adds emotion, meaning, and color to something that's basically just air molecules bumping into each other. Scientists can now use AI to reconstruct music just by looking at brain signals. They don't need to record any actual sound. They just need to see what your brain is doing. That's because the music isn't out there. It's being generated by your neural circuits. So next time you're vibing to your favorite song, remember you're not actually hearing music. You're experiencing an incredibly detailed hallucination, custom-made by your brain. The universe is dead silent. It's your mind that's singing. And if your brain can fabricate something as complex as sound out of nothing but air pressure, what else about reality might it be making up? Number 5. Your memories are unreliable fictions. Imagine finding out that your entire past might be a lie, not because someone lied to you, but because your own brain is constantly lying to you. Every time you remember something, your brain isn't just pressing play on an old recording, it's actually rebuilding that memory from scratch. It's like playing a game of telephone with yourself. The message gets slightly altered each time it's passed along. Scientists have proven they can plant completely fake memories in people's heads. They showed people photos of themselves as kids at Disneyland meeting Bugs Bunny. People started remembering meeting Bugs Bunny at Disneyland in detail. 
the conversation, the hug, everything. But Bugs Bunny has never been at Disneyland. He's a Warner Bros. character, not Disney. These people created entire fake memories just because someone showed them a photoshopped picture. Their brains just filled in the gaps with made-up details that seemed to make sense. What you're actually remembering isn't the original event. You're remembering the last time you remembered remembering it. This means your most cherished memories, the ones you revisit the most, are probably the least accurate. Number 4. Your present is already in the past. Everything you're experiencing right now isn't actually happening now. You're living in the past. Your brain is actually running on a delay, like a slightly laggy live stream of reality. Light has to bounce off an object and travel to your eyes. Then your brain needs time to process that information. This whole process takes about 80 milliseconds. That might not sound like much, but in that time, a bullet could travel 80 feet. It gets even wilder when you look at the stars. That beautiful starlight you're seeing might be from a star that exploded thousands of years ago. You're literally looking at ancient history every time you look up at night. If aliens 65 million light years away had a powerful enough telescope to see Earth, you know what they'd be seeing right now? Dinosaurs. Because the light showing what's happening on Earth right now won't reach them for another 65 million years. Every single moment of your life is technically a memory by the time you experience it. You're not living in the present. You're surfing on the wake of reality's wave, perpetually stuck a fraction of a second in the past. Number 3. Solid matter is just trapped energy. Everything you think is solid, your phone, your desk, even your own body, is actually an illusion. It's all just energy that's been squeezed really tight. If you could somehow unleash all the energy trapped in a single paperclip, you'd have enough power to light up an entire city for months. That tiny piece of metal on your desk is basically a nuclear bomb waiting to happen. That's literally what nuclear bombs do. They take a piece of matter and release the energy trapped inside. Everything you think is solid is actually mostly empty space with some energy fields dancing around. The atoms making up your body are 99.99% .99 empty space. You're not actually touching anything. Ever. You're just feeling the resistance of these force fields. You're a pattern of energy dancing through a universe made of more patterns of energy. You're basically a walking, talking lightning bolt that's learned how to think. Number 2. Spooky action at a distance. Imagine two particles that are best friends. No matter how far apart they are, they instantly know what the other is doing. Scientists call it quantum entanglement. These particles communicate instantly, not at the speed of light. Instantly. Einstein himself was so freaked out by this that he called it spooky action at a distance because it breaks the most basic rule we know about the universe. Nothing can go faster than light. Scientists have tested this over and over. They've separated these particles by miles. They've put them on opposite sides of cities. Doesn't matter. Imagine two marbles that are quantum entangled. You spin one marble in New York. Its twin in Tokyo starts spinning at the exact same moment. No delay. No signal sent between them. They just know. It's like the universe has a hidden group chat that exists outside of space and time. This means either information is traveling faster than light, which breaks physics, or space itself is an illusion, or both particles are somehow the same thing, just appearing in two places at once. We're already using this glitch in the matrix to build quantum computers. We're building technology using something that shouldn't even be possible. Number 1. The universe is a hologram. Everything you see around you, your phone, your room, even your own body, might be a giant cosmic illusion. Scientists think our entire three-dimensional reality might actually be a projection from a two-dimensional surface, like a super-advanced version of those hologram stickers on credit cards. They found this out by studying black holes. They noticed the amount of information a black hole can hold isn't based on its size. It's based on its surface area. That's like saying everything inside your house could fit written on your walls. It makes absolutely no sense, unless our reality isn't what we think it is. Think of it like a video game. All those complex three-dimensional worlds you see are actually just lines of code in a computer. Our universe could be running on some kind of cosmic code stored on the edge of space itself. This isn't just some crazy theory either. Some of the smartest physicists in the world are taking this seriously. If they're right, it means reality itself is an illusion. You might be nothing more than a very convincing three-dimensional projection of information. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.